So Jiffin, who was supposed to give this talk, is what? He's stuck on a bus or a taxi. And as soon as I get the slides up here, I'll, I'll project the slides. My name's Caleb Keithley. I'm the tech lead at Red Hat for the uh, NFS Ganesha, uh, which is a, um, if, if you don't know it, what NFS Ganesha is, it's a user space. It's an NFS server in user space. And he was going to give the Ganesha weather report. Is that what I'm talking about? So uh, uh, Ganesha is a, uh, uh, it's an NFS server that runs in user space. It supports all the NFS protocols, 3, 4, 4.1, 4 4.2. 4 4.2 isn't too much of a stretch because 4.2 is just a bunch of optional things that, and we don't have any of those optional things, but we can claim support for 4.2 because it's all optional. The uh, also PNFS. So uh, upstream community is uh, has an active development team of five or six uh, developers. They're uh, largely based in. Uh, I have ten minutes left. Uh, Gmail might might be there by then with the slides. Um, we're currently actively working on the 2.8 release. We released 2.7 about six months ago. Uh, we're doing maintenance releases, so we're just in the process of preparing 2.7.2 uh, that will be released in a few days. Uh, what else? Uh, we're, we do a uh, we go to connectathons and bakeathons. Connectathons are used, have been hosted by uh, Sun, now Oracle, in uh, in uh, Sun Sunnyvale. Uh, we're getting ready to go to, uh, we just had a connectathon, or uh, sorry, a bakeathon in Westford that Red Hat hosts in October, and we're going to have another one in May in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Uh, what else would I say? So, what's, what's the team working on most recently? New features, performance, what kind of topics were hot? Yeah, oh, yeah. So, yes. Performance, new features. Um, <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. So okay. Uh, one of the. When they ask a question, can you repeat it so it's on the recording? Sure. So the question is, what are what are the backends that Ganesha supports? Ganesha has a plugin framework that lets you uh, write something called a, what we call a facal, a file system ab abstraction layer. If you're familiar with. Uh, Samba, Samba calls their same feature um, a VFS, the Samba VFS or virtual file system. Ganesha calls a facal. There's half a dozen or so. There's, uh, there's uh, v um, facal VFS, which uh, just works, speaks to the local file system. So ext4, um, um, XFS, uh, possibly ZFS, um, you name it. In addition, mostly what I've been working on and my team's been working on for the last three or four years has been the Gluster backend. Uh, so there's that, there's a CephFS facal, there's a, um, an RGW facal. Uh, Jeff Layton, who you might recognize the name, has a long uh, involvement with the Linux kernel and NFS in the Linux kernel, is currently working on something called uh, Rados URLs. Uh, which is a new facal. There's also uh, IBM's GFS2 facal uh, that are all actively maintained. Uh, LizardFS has one that uh, we've been trying to work with them to get that into uh, into our tree. And they've sent patches and we've been working through trying to uh, uh, get their get their facal into adequate shape for us to include. We have people uh, at, at Red Hat, we have uh, people working on f a performance mainly focused on Gluster. Uh, probably will uh, will we'll also be uh, expanding that effort to include more performance work for Ceph, CephFS and RGW. Uh, five minutes left, okay. Um, uh, another developer that we have is working on um, uh, delegations and getting delegations into usable shape. 
we have some proof of com uh, sorry no we don't not with delegations work is ongoing with delegations so for some workloads what do you mean by delegations? Uh, so the question is what what are delegations and delegations are uh, a feature in NFS v4 that lets the client query uh, where uh, where the files are actually located so rather than maybe talk to uh, this NFS server, which then has to go over to a, a Gluster or a Ceph over here. It lets it redirect okay. and di directly query the server that, has, that actually has the data for improved performance. Uh, so work is ongoing on delegations. Jiffin, who, would, who was supposed to be giving this talk, was, uh, is actively working on PNFS, and he's uh, gradually folding in improved PNFS support, so there's that. Uh, some, uh, another, another thing that's being worked on is um, uh, labeled NFS, so this would let you do uh, SE, things like SE Linux uh, protection of the files that you have on your NFS servers. Um, uh, that's off the top of my head, that's the things I can think of, any questions? Let's just go straight, since I have less than five, yeah. Uh, sure. If you have a Kerberos enabled file system, does NFS Ganesha pass on the credentials down to the backend? So the question is, does Ganesha support Curb 5? And it does, yeah. It, so Ganesha will participate in a, in a Curb 5. Um, uh, Ganesha uses LDAP to talk to, or sorry, it doesn't use, it uses WinBind to talk to LDAP and Active Directory, so it will use, it will authenticate with Curb5. And here's Jiffin, just in time. Did you start? Yeah, we started. Yeah, there's, there's about three minutes left. Can we just maybe continue with Q&A, or? Yeah, sure. Yeah. That's um, the best thing. Okay. Take it away, Jiffin. Yeah. I just please use the microphone, and uh, can you repeat the question that was asked? So oh, no sure. Thanks. Huh. So the question that was just asked was the one about Curb 5 support. And I, did, I, did I answer your question? Um, you know, I should know the answer to that, but I'm, I regret, regretfully, I don't actually know the answer to that. Yeah, okay. Kneels to the rescue. Thank you so much. Uh, any more questions? Yes. You mentioned the Rados URL. Can you tell me how that translates to us? Is from the library of Jeffers as well? So, <laughs> Jeff has, uh, the question was uh, Jeff was using Rados objects for the HA, not HA, like Active Active Ganesha solution. Right. So basically, Ganesha had an ability to read from the Rados URL, which was added before. So in Jeff's use case, uh, the shared storage is kind of a Rados backend. So the servers can fetch that information from the Rados object backend, whatever it is. And in the time of grace and all those stuff, it, will, it can maintain the state from that object. So there is one Rados grace, I think, and script, not script, like a binary, which does the dot job in the Ganesha code base. Okay. I'm really sorry, do we have time for it? Uh, sure, sure, sure. Uh, it was my mistake. Got Grab him outside if you want to ask more questions. Uh, we unfortunately got to move on with the next speaker. Sure. Thanks. Uh -huh.